A Dubai super yacht like this is not often dwarfed, but the most famous cruise ship afloat manages it with ease, the great ship QE2. Her sailing days may be behind her, but tomorrow her future begins with the arrival of guests into the midship's lobby. The QE2 has become a hotel. Of her 13 decks, four have been brought back to life initially. And while she's not going anywhere, the ship will still take people on a journey back to a different time. The decor has been lovingly restored or replaced the colors and styles of the 70s and 80s, harking back to this great lady's heyday. We wanted to really be true to the ship and we, we, we give her a soul, in a sense. We cared about what she would have thought, the ship herself, about what we've done to her. We're now the custodians of the ship and we have to stay true and celebrate her. I name the ship. Queen Elizabeth II. Built on the Clyde, the QE2 entered service in 1969. Her cruising days were interrupted in 1982 when she was requisitioned by the Admiralty to take soldiers to the Falklands War. Before her retirement in 2008, she would sail a total distance the equivalent of 14 return trips to the moon. The relaunch of the QE2 as a hotel was a decade in the making. For seven of those years, not much happened, and there were fears she'd just be left here to rot or be scrapped. So the start of this project in 2015 came as a huge relief to her fans around the world. Her travels have ended, but having pampered over millions of miles from here to there, the QE2 has just become a destination herself. John Irvine, News at 10, Dubai.